<sighs> Numerical methods problem 8.17. A catenary cable is one that is hung between two points not in the same vertical line as depicted in figure P 8.17a. It is subject to no lo loads other than its own weight, thus its weight, newtons per meters, acts as a uniform load per unit length along the cable. A free body diagram of section AB is depicted in figure P 8.17b, where T of A and T of B are their tension forces at the ends. Based on horizontal and vertical force balances, the following differential equation model of the cable can be derived. D to 2y over dx to 2 equals w over t of a times the square root of 1 plus dy dx squared. Calculus can be employed to solve this equation for the height y of the cable as a function of distance x. y equals t of a over w times cos of w over t a times x plus y sub 0 minus t of a over w, where the hyperbolic cosine can be computed by cos of x is equal to 1 half e to the x plus e to the negative x. Use numerical methods to calculate a value for the parameter t of a given values for the parameters w equals 12 and y equals 6 such that the cable has a height of y is equal to 15 and x is equal to 50. So here we have our values given to us by the problem. The height of y is equal to 15. It's the height of the cable at a point. x is equal to 50. That is our point of tension, or the point where we're at along our line. And for this problem, I'm using the range of 1,000 to 2,000 because we will find our point that we are looking for for our tension in between this range. W is given to us and that's our angular velocity tensor. It is 12 and Y sub 0 is 6. So, down here we have our equation reworked. That was given to us. Simply subtract y from the other side of the equation. And then we plot it up down here. And then I use the modified secant method in this problem to approximate the zero that we're looking for and Wolfram Alpha gave us an answer of 1684.37 for the zero of this problem. So let's see what we get. Here in blue is the graph of the equation, and here in green, the green dots are approximation to our zero that we're looking for. And that's about 1680, 1700, just like Wolfram said. So let's see what it comes out to. We type it in. So our T of a, or our tension at that point, is matches the results that we got 
from rule for m. We got 1684 and here we also have 1684 point a lot of numbers and set in a different notation also but it's the same. We can also so our function, our function of t of a should show that we are at zero or very 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 close to zero as you can see here. So that is the solution to 8.17 in numerical methods. That's it.